Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Chapter 1, Part 4 of Basic Economic Concepts. My name is Ms. Jennifer Blank, and I will be your guide on this journey. In this lesson, we're going to focus on application of marginal analysis and application of the production possibilities curve. All right, so hold on to your hats, and here we go. All right, so let's review a little bit. Marginal analysis shows us how much of a product should be produced and how much it should cost in order to maximize satisfaction for both consumer and the producer. It determines the optimal allocation and it deals with one product only. Optimal allocation is when your marginal benefit and marginal cost are equal. All right, the goal of OA is to determine what specific quantities of resources should be allocated for each product in order to maximize satisfaction for both parties. Economic decisions are essentially comparisons of marginal benefit and marginal cost. So the production possibilities model, or frontier as it's sometimes called, shows the possibilities of production, not necessarily what should be produced and how it should be produced, but what is possible in an economy given the resources available. Opportunity costs can be constant or they can increase. When they increase, the law of increasing opportunity cost is applied. All right. The PPC compares two different models, or I'm sorry, two different products, only two. All right. And we must assume that the following remain fixed resources, employment, technology. So those things are not going to change. Now, when we look at, for example, unemployment and growth, right? So these are issues that people care about. I mean, we're, we're concerned about, you know, we just came out of a recession. You know, we're, we're worried about well, what is the, the future? Uh, what does the future of our economy look like? And uh, these economic models can help us trying to figure that out. So for the purposes of this exercise, our key question is going to be, how does the existence of widespread unemployment and unused production capa capacity relate to the PPC? So the key skill involved in this will be graphing inside and outside of the production possibilities model. Full employment is equal to full production. If you have unemployment, you're actually not maximizing your resources because you have all these people who could be working and producing and making stuff, but you have, you, you're, they're not. So you wind up having less production. If you have an increase in resources, this allows for an increase in production. So let's take a look at this. Now you see this graph in front of you and there are a couple of different lines. Uh, the first one represents uh, less employment. So you have, you have unemployment, therefore you have less production. The middle uh, line represents full employment and full production. And the third line represents increased resources and increased production. Now when you look at a graph like this, you want to look at investment goods and consumption goods. Okay, that's what we're comparing. So we're really comparing whether or not we're going to invest for the future versus whether we're going to consume right now. Okay, so that this is what we want to think about. Do we want to use our resources and consume less now so that we have more later? Or do we want to consume now and then we'll have less later? That's essentially what we're looking at here. So when you're looking at this model, you're really looking at the present versus the future. Okay. Our choices are more now, less later, or less now, and more later. So the key terms for this concept are opportunity cost and marginal analysis. Now, performing a marginal analysis helps us to determine the opportunity cost of the decisions that we make. So let's take a look at this. So th this is an example of or, or presentville and futureville. Okay, we see, we see these graphs here. So I want you to take a look and see if you can figure out what these graphs are saying. Feel free to pause it and, and think about it, and we're going to discuss this more in class. That is the end of chapter one. I will see y'all in chapter two. Have a good night.